Hey everyone, Mr. W here. Today's lesson is on decimal numbers, understandings, hundreds. So for example, the number 4 decimal point 35, the decimal point in the middle has a job of separating the whole numbers on the left side, uh, for example that 4, with the decimal numbers on the right side of the decimal point, uh, the 3 and the 5, which would be the 35. Decimal numbers are just fractions, and that 35 you see there is actually the fraction 35 hundredths. The 5 is in the hundredths place value, and that is the focus of today's lesson. Okay, so today we're going to work on some models with hundredths. We're going to practice reading numbers with hundredths and just look a little bit at the place value involving hundredths. So, the number 4 decimal point 35 in green there would be read as 4 and 35 hundredths. The 4 on the left side would be your 4 holes, and then the 35 on the right side of the decimal point would be 35 out of 100, or in other words, the fraction 35 hundredths. So it would be 4 and 35 hundredths. 1 and 90 hundredths. The 1 would be 1 hole, and the 90 on the right side would be the fraction 90 one hundredths, and combined it's 1 and 90 one hundredths. 3 and 7 hundredths. The 3 on the left side would be 3 holes, and the 7 would be 7 of 100, or in other words, the fraction 7 hundredths. And the hundredths would be the 7 there. One more. 52 hundredths. Notice there's zero on the left side, but the 52 on the right represents the fraction of 52 one hundredths. Okay, so we'll talk a little bit about place value. We're going to start by talking about whole numbers first, and then we'll talk about hundredths, okay? So when we're talking about place value, remember that we're talking about a base 10 system. When we learned how to count a long time ago, we counted one, and that would represent one whole. And that would be a one-digit number, and that would be in the ones place value. And when we would count all the way down to nine, all of those numbers would be one uh, place value or one-digit numbers and be in the ones. But as soon as you got to 10 at the bottom there, notice that it's a two-digit number, and so we would add the place value of the tens. Remember we talked about that 10, right? So 10s would be 10 times greater than the 1s. And that's important when we talk about hundreds later. So then we would count by 10s. And notice once you get down to 90, the next one would be 100. And that is now a 3-digit number. And we add another place value. That would be the hundreds. And that is also an increase of times 10. Well, that pattern would continue as we go uh, for more place values in the thousands and millions, each place value is going up by a multiple of 10. So that takes care of whole numbers. That makes sense. We're always going up by 10. But what do we do when we want to show fractions, when we're showing place value, when we're showing digital forms on calculators or computers? Well, fractions, we can show that uh, with decimals. Remember that decimals are just showing fractions. And we said that that decimal point in the middle separates the whole numbers on the left side of the decimal point with your fractions on the right side. And what we do is just add another place value, but this time, instead of multiplying by 10, we are dividing 10. And that would be called the tenths place value. So, for example, that model is showing 1 shaded out of 10. So that would be one-tenth. Now remember, when we're talking about tenths and hundredths today, we're talking about denominators that have to do with powers of ten. That one-tenth would be put right there in the tenths place value. But when we're dealing with uh, decimals, we're not writing it with a numerator and a denominator but we would be writing it as 0 decimal 1, and that would read as 1 tenth. That 1, notice, is in the tenths place value, and that's why we say it is 1 tenth. Okay, so this would be uh, 2 tenths. 
and 2 tenths would be written as 0 decimal point 2, or in other words, 2 tenths. And 3 tenths, right, in fraction form, but if we want to write that fraction as a decimal, it would be 0 decimal point 3, and that 3 is in the tenths place value. Now, that takes care of tenths, but what about hundreds? Because that's what this lesson was about. Well, that's the next place value. After the tenths comes the hundreds, and that is also dividing by 10. So, for example, remember we said one-tenth, right? If we were to divide with a calculator uh, one-tenth by 10, that would equal 0 decimal zero 01, or in other words, that would read as one-hundredth. In a model, you can see there's a grid there of 100 and only one is shaded, right? In fraction form, that would be one hundredth or one one hundredth. But in decimal form, we would read that as zero decimal point zero one. Notice the one is in what place value? The hundredths, and that's why we read that as one hundredths. This would be 25 hundredths. So we would write that as 0 decimal point 25, but it would be read as 25 hundredths. That model is 67 hundredths. In decimal form, we would write that as 0 decimal point 67, and it would be read as 67 hundredths. It's important to not confuse hundredths and hundredths, that's like really a common problem. So let's look at that for a second. On the left side, you have hundreds, but hundredths are on the right side. Remember that hundreds on the left represent whole numbers, but hundredths on the right side represent fractions, or in other words, decimals. Hundreds you would count as 100, 200, 300, and so on, whereas hundredths, if you were counting, would be you know, 10 hundreds, 20 hundreds, 30 hundreds, and so forth. Uh, so keep that in mind and try not to confuse hundreds with hundredths. And remember that hundredths has the TH, so be looking for that. Okay, when you read numbers, with decimal points, the rule is, is that you just name the place value of the last digit. So let's look at that for a second. So for example, this number would read as 6 and 38 hundredths. Notice that that 8 is in the hundredths place value, and that 38 there would represent 38 hundredths. So that makes sense. Okay, let's try another one. 12 and 5 hundredths. Notice that the 5 there, the 0, 5, represents the fraction of 5 hundredths. 76 hundredths would just represent the fraction of 76 one hundredths. 8 and 20 hundredths, and the 20 represents 20 hundredths. 14 hundredths, so the 14 in the decimal place values represents the fraction 14 one hundredths. Let's try a few more. 34 and 10 hundredths. 9 and 37 hundredths. 13 hundredths. 26 and 8 hundredths. And finally, 85 hundredths. Okay, let's look at some models with hundreds. So this would represent one whole because the hundred grid there is completely shaded. So in other words, 100 out of 100 um, are shaded, and that would represent a whole fraction. And whole fractions always represent one whole. But in decimal form, we would say that it's one decimal zero zero because we're talking about hundreds today with that second zero is in the hundredths place value. Okay, let's look at some others. So here I'm seeing that if you count carefully, we would have a total of 67 are shaded in the pink color there. So that would be 67 hundredths. But in decimal form, we would write that as 0 decimal point 67, or in other words, 67 hundredths. On the left, I'm seeing one hole, and on the right side, that looks like about five, right? Five hundredths. So this would read 
as 1 and 5 hundredths. Notice that when you read 1 and 5 hundredths, be careful to keep that 5 in the hundredths place value. Don't make the mistake of putting it accidentally in the tenths. That's a really common mistake. But if you were to do that, it would actually read as 1 and 5 tenths. So that would not be the correct answer because it's actually 5 hundredths. Okay, on the left and middle I'm seeing looks like two holes, right? And on the right side, that's 95, so that would be 2 and 95 hundredths. Looks to me like about 7, right? So this would read as 7 hundredths. But remember, make sure your 7 is in the hundredths place value, right? Because if you accidentally put it in the tenths, you really would be showing 7 tenths, right? And so that would be wrong. So be careful about that. And finally, this odd-looking one. Wow. So if I look at the top, I'm seeing 10 and going down 20 and 30, 40 at the bottom. That would be uh, 50. And then that one by itself, I'm seeing 51 hundredths. And we would write that as 0 decimal 51, or in other words, 51 hundredths. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching today, and I appreciate it, and I hope to see you on the next one.